guys can see it's raining again here in Tennessee. I can't catch a break around here. It rains every day. Just about every day it rains here. It's getting used to it. I've never been to Seattle, but I know what those guys feel like now with all this rain. Getting the camera wet, getting me wet. Can't run the sawmill. Rains every day. Anyways, guys, I planned on today starting the drying shed, which is going to be over there beside the kiln, or one of the many drying sheds we're going to be building here. And I think I'll still get that started today. The rain's supposed to stop about 1 o'clock. It's about 11 a.m. right now, so hopefully by 1 o'clock this rain will ease up on us we can get started on that, because it won't take very long to build them. It's going to take more time, really, just to prepare the wood to build it with. Anyways, to make good use of my time here, I'm going to run over to a buddy of mine's shop, Fred. If you're not familiar with him, he's got a YouTube channel called The Blazing Nail Gun. He's also under the name of Redneck DIY, and he does some really cool stuff over there. He's got a pretty good-sized channel with a lot of followers over there. And I've talked about him on this channel before, and he's actually showed me in some of his videos. Anyways, I'm going to head over there this morning real fast before I go get some more materials for building this drying shed drop him off one of these OTW t-shirts but I'll take the camera in there with me this morning and I'll show you guys around his shop he's got some really nice CNC machines in there he's got the CNC routers and a plasma cutter makes a lot of signs he just does a lot of cool stuff over there and there's a link down below to his YouTube channel he does a lot of tutorial videos showing how he builds it so anyways let's get over to his shop which is about 15 minutes away from where I live and uh, see what he's into today back here at the house and it's about 4 30 and it just now quit raining but who knows how long it's going to last they'll probably start back here in the next few minutes more likely it's rained like it all day today one thing i got done today was pretty much run a few errands and pick up some materials here i got the truck bed to start the uh, drying shed build tomorrow Fred gave me one of these bow ties i showed him the footage there he's making these on a cnc machine this is some walnut and uh, when you make these by hand it's really hard to get the sides 90 degrees to the face of them right here just doing it by freehand, but with that CNC router machine he has, he can do it very easily. So in the future, when I do bow ties, I'll probably call him up and have him make some for us. I also mentioned to him he should probably start selling those, because I don't know of anybody that makes these and sells them. It seems like everybody's used them in their furniture projects nowadays. He could probably sell them like hotcakes if you wanted to. So a few final things here. Tomorrow we will start the drying shed. I got a lot of lumber here in the truck bed and some center blocks. And some other materials we'll talk about tomorrow when I start building that thing. And I'm going to be using a pretty interesting uh, method of building it when I prepare the wood for the base. I think that will be interesting to a lot of you guys. I've never done it before. So it could be a complete failure. If so, we'll catch it here on the video and go from there. It's starting to rain again. That's a shocker. And the uh, second thing is, if you have time, go over to the FedEx site. The link is down below and give me a vote for my business over there. The voting ends Wednesday, April the 4th. So I'm going to try to do a reminder video every day this week. Kind of giving you guys heads up to go over there and give me a vote if you have time. And I appreciate you guys that have done that a whole lot. And like I said before, I'm trying to win that contest so I can get me some grant money to buy a better loader. Our Bobcat skid steer is really on its last leg. I could use a really good farm tractor or another heavy duty skid steer. I'm not sure which one. I gotta win the contest first, so that's later on down the road. So, if you guys have been voting for me, this is how it will work. Once the voting ends on Wednesday, a week later, they're going to announce the top 100 uh, finalists for the grant. And then, 10 days after that, they will announce the first place, the second place, and eight third place winners. And another thing, guys, if, if y'all are interested in helping me out here on the channel, you can go over to the Patreon site. The link is down below. 
And there's not a lot of content on Patreon. It's more or less, I just use that as another tool for people to contribute to this channel to help me out a little bit. Cause a lot of the time on this channel, when you're making these videos and all this camera work and stuff malfunctioning, you gotta buy memory cards, tripods. A lot of the time there's more money going out than coming in. If you'd like to support the channel, that'd be awesome. And you can go over to Patreon and do that. And like I said, the link down below is to that also. So we'll be back tomorrow. We'll start the drying shed tomorrow. We gotta do some saw milling this week cause there's a lot of components of the drying shed that I gotta saw out of some of that white oak. And it uh, should be a pretty good week here. The weather's gonna be good for the rest of the week. Boy, you mind? It's probably not. I'm just I'm being hopeful right there. It's probably gonna rain more. But we'll see what happens. So anyways, guys, links down below to everything I've talked about. We'll see you back tomorrow.